Hello, audience. My topic here is on a discussion of some tem contemporary issues in science. We know that there are many contemporary issues in science. We have things like family planning. But our interest today is on a genetically modified foods. What are these genetically modified foods? These are foods that are got from organisms that do not eat, that derive their growth in not a natural way. So like any other foods, even the genetically modified foods have sources. And some of the sources we have got here are plants. We know that food can be got from plants. Even the natural growing foods can be got from plants. You look at the oranges. We have uh, some eggplants. Let me say the vegetables that we normally eat. But those very foods can also be genetically modified. And then we also have animals. They are also sources of food. So how are these genetically modified foods processed? Here we have got the steps in processing or the processes that the organisms undergo or the plants undergo in order to get it into a genetically modified foods. This process is a step by step. We have the first step. The first step is to copy the traits. Like for example, you want a maize plant or a corn that is resistant to maybe insects that bring about diseases. You may want a, a, a corn or a plant that is resistant to drought. So you copy the genes from that specific plant to be inserted into another new plant that you want to modify to become a genetically modified food. So that is the first step. The second step, after you've copied those traits or the genes, you will now have to this, uh, inject them. You've copied them. That is the first step. I mean, the first is second step. Now, the third one, you have to insert. We are now seeing from this picture, they are trying to extract the gene of interest or the desired trait from that one that has the gene of resistance to diseases or the one that has a certain color. But our interest here is that one that is resistant to diseases. And then they will insert it to another one that is a new plant that we want to grow to become a genetically modified fruit, that is, I mean plant that will be resistant to uh, insects. After you have, after they have finished to extract, they have inserted, they will now allow that plant to grow. And where will it be growing from? It will be grown in a laboratory. Why are they putting it in the laboratory? They want it to adopt the conditions so that the conditions of being resistant to uh, insects, as that is our motive. So after that plant has adopted those uh, traits, then it will be taken to the next step. That next step, it will be taken to the green, I mean, to the pilot garden. 
where it will also be sustained to the conditions of being outside the laboratory. And then after that, it will be now multiplied. And the plant, which is from the genetically modified uh, organism or the plant, will now be sold after being piloted, then it will be sold. But we know that genetically modified foods have ethical issues. Some people do not like it. They say it has some disadvantages. But we know that everything has good and bad. We are looking at here the advantages and disadvantages of genetically modified foods. The first one we see, it really give us nutritious what? Foods. These foods from genetically modified foods are nutritious. They are also resistant to diseases. They can be resistant to droughts. They can also be sold at a lower cost. And their growth is faster than the normal ones. Whereas on the other side, I know some people may say genetically modified foods have disasters in our bodies like causing maybe cancers. So in the future, I would like you also to discover these ethical issues about genetically modified foods. I leave you at that point of discovering the ethical issues of genetically modified foods. Thank you for listening.